Lesson 4.5, Other Methods of Proving Triangles Congruent. So let's review what methods we have so far for proving triangles congruent. We had side, side, side. We had side, angle, side. We had angle, side, angle. So there were three of them. Notice they all use at least one side. Were they postulates or theorems? They were all postulates. As in, we can't prove them, we just know they work. Nobody's ever found a counterexample in 2,000 years, so, so far so good. And which ones didn't work? Well, that was the angle side side. And as we say, there's no ASS in geometry class. So, we'll give you two more. First one looks like what I just said, but it's not. Angle, angle, side. Angle, angle, side. Non-included sides. It's not the one in between. Otherwise, it would be angle, side, angle. Angle, angle, side. So the question quickly becomes, why does that work? Why is it a theorem? Obviously, we can prove it. I think I will give this to you as a homework assignment, but I will just say, if you know this angle, this angle, do you know this angle? And the answer, of course, is yes. And if you know that angle, what do you have over here? So hopefully you recognize it's just an extension of angle, side, angle. So you would have to say these three angles add up to 180, these three angles add up to 180, subtract off the congruent angles, that sort of thing. So now we have side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, 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 side. And a right triangle one. What's this for the right triangle? Call it hypotenuse. And we call these legs. Hypotenuse and legs. And that leads us to theorem 4.4. HL If we know the hypotenuse and we know either leg they're congruent if you look at that and you didn't know it was a right triangle, you would say, wait a minute, wait a minute, this is angle, side, side. That's ASS. I'm not allowed to do that. Well, it turns out as long as we know one of the angles is 90 degrees, then we can do it. We don't call it ASS, we call it HL, hypotenuse leg. So we'd have to know it's a right triangle. We have to know hypotenuse, not the legs, and one leg. Then we can go HL. So scrolling back up, we can add it to our list. One, two, three, four, there's five of them. Five to go with. Just to be polite, I put it all here. One, two, three, four, five of them. Here's all the ways you can do it. Now, give you a tough problem. Triangles that overlap. This makes people crazy. And what's funny is it's a pretty easy fix. 
take out the first triangle because we're looking for GHJ, GHJ. And we're looking for triangle K, J, I. And we'd like to prove these two are congruent. If you want to try it, I would recommend it. But if not, I'll go through it right now. Let's look at our given. GJ congruent to GK. And somebody mislabeled here. I'll talk to that guy when I get a chance. Angle H congruent to angle I. And we look like we're stuck. We got a side and an angle. So we've talked about this. Is there a vertical angles? And you might say, well, yeah, right here and here. But those aren't part of the triangles we're looking for. Triangles we're looking for are this one and this one. So that really doesn't help us. Is there a reflexive side? Nope. They share this piece and this piece, but they're not the same side. One's got one, one's got the other. Is there uh, parallel lines? Nope. Definitely not any parallel lines here. So, last choice. Is there a reflexive angle? An angle they both share that I can say, yeah. And there is. It's angle G. It's reflexive to itself. So if I were you, I would take a second try and write up this proof. I'll do it right below real quick. And I do mean quick and dirty. And you should write out the given and not be lazy like me. Given had the angle and the side. I will go with angle G is congruent to angle G. Then I will be done. Triangle H, G, J congruent to triangle I, G, K. And that is angle, angle, side. Remember that the given up here has the side and the angle already. So by the time we get down to the bottom, all we need is the other angle, 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 side. There's no CPCTC here. I didn't ask for anything else. I just asked for what are we trying to prove? The triangles. Lots to do here. Get on it. Good luck.